Hello everyone, Camel Cowboy Outdoors. Uh, right now I'm indoors. <laughs> um, things have been a little slow on the trap line, so I figured it's time I might as well get some of these beaver done up that I had in the deep freeze. Um, this is a big beaver. Um, I could have easily got it out to that outside ring, but you never want to overstretch them. That's probably the biggest problem I've seen with new trappers when they stretch not just beaver other things they tend to overstretch it and that thins the hide out or the hair out um you look at look how loose that's what you want and when that um, dries that'll that'll all be tight but the hair will not be overstretched the hair will look nice and thick in this day and age when when beaver aren't a good price as it is you want to try and get every dollar for them you can and I'm no expert um, I have done quite a few beaver though and and um, I've had quite a few top lot beaver so just a little bit of advice for new trappers another little bit of advice is right there I cut a little hole in it when I was flashing it and um, I flash over my knee and a bit of advice if you're flashing over your knee if that meat is a little bit frozen yet just even a touch you're gonna cut a hole in that hide and I knew that and I was in a hurry and I ended up cutting a little hole in there didn't take my own advice so Make sure it's totally thawed up, 100% thawed, before you start flushing it, because like I said, you will cut a hole in there. But anyways, I just thought you guys would like to see that. And um, like I said, things have been a little slow on the trap line. It's going to get colder here this next week. It's supposed to get colder. So maybe things will start to move. I got baits out. Um... We'll just see what happens. But hopefully, hopefully things will start moving here. All right, we'll talk to you all later. Hello, everyone. Um, I had a request from one of my friends on YouTube to show what some of the furs look like when they're finished. Um, I realize all you trappers know but not everybody that follows the channel is a trapper so i just wanted to show there's a coyote um when you finish a coyote you you stretch them and you you finish them with the fur side out um this here is the mink i haven't stretched him yet or dried him but that's what he looks like after he's oh, i'm sorry i'm in making a shadow that's what he looks like after he's skinned out. Um, the reason I'm showing him like this, when I dry him on the board, he is going to have his fur on the inside. He, he'll be the opposite of the coyote. The coyote's got the fur on the outside, and with the mink, when they're stretched and dried, they want them with the fur on the inside. So i just show him to you now the way he is. He's just an absolute beauty of a... Beautiful mink, big, big. So anyways, there we go. All right, folks, let's take a look at a nice coyote I caught the other day. Good day, everyone. It's a beautiful day here at the ranch. It's minus two, so the warm weather continues. We're only getting two degrees of frost. And welcome to another episode of the Camel Cowboy Outdoors. I'm just out here west of the buildings and um, checking a couple power rams. Um, I just put these in five days ago, but it's a good spot every year. And it appears we caught a coyote right there. Um, they always have follow this trail 
comes down through here and then when it gets here it wise out and one trail goes that way and one goes this way along the edge so I got a snare over there on that one too but it looks like this one picked up a dog hopefully it's a good one I think he looks all right. He's wet. I mean, here he's got this, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just wet. Looks like he's got a little bit of waterhead, which is weird because we've got a neck catch on him. It's a nice color, boys and girls. That's a decent looking dog. Like I said, it looks a little bit rough here now because it's wet. But um, the color's nice, it's got all this fur. A male. A male. All right, I'm gonna get it out of here. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do here, it's kind of a mess. I think I can maybe take this snare and reset it back there a little further. It looks like I can, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. All right. <laughs>